So here's my blog. It's not terribly impressive. This is the design. I did this. And we're going to get GitHub Copilot to give us a new design. And this is going to be the result. Seriously. I'm going to show you how to do this. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. I'm using GitHub Code Spaces, which means I can use VS Code in the browser and GitHub Copilot free, which you also have. All of this is free, actually. And you can use it right in your browser. I have a Jekyll site here. And what we want to do is we want to use GitHub Copilot edits to build a mock-up of our site first so that we don't actually do anything to the actual code that matters. So let's create a new file and I'm just going to call it mockup.html. And then here's the prompt that I want to send in. I'm going to ask for a modern design for a personal profile website with these different pages on it. And I'm going to ask it to put all of the code in a single HTML file because I don't want it to split things out and create multiple files in my project here. I'm also going to use Claude as my model because I found that Claude is just much better at design than the other models. And all right. All right. So the initial design is back. You can see that it's written the code here in our mockup.html file. Now we want to preview it. And I'm going to use this live preview extension to do that. And we can do that right in Visual Studio Code. All right. OK. I mean, not quite what we wanted, uh, but but a jumping off point nonetheless. So let's give it some more information. So what I want to do here is give it a little bit more inspiration. So to do that, I'm going to head out to color.adobe.com and find a nice color palette. Look at all these. So let's pick uh, that'll work. And then, ooh, look at this nice like 80s modern. Here we go. Let's copy the CSS here. And then back in VS Code, I'm going to give it a prompt here. And I'm just going to tell it to uh, use the color palette. And I'm going to paste in the CSS that we just copied. Oh, whoa, that's a lot. Of, OK, um, it's a lot. You, but I'm going to leave it. Because look at look at the class names here. I think the, the model can use these class names for the design, right? Like the neon and the, the vintage and all of this stuff. So let's just go ahead and leave this and, and send it to the model and see what happens. And I'm speeding the response up again. And here comes our styles. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the end, refresh, and see what we got. OK. OK, that's remarkably good. That's remarkably good based on the palette that we just gave it here. And it inferred a lot of these styles from the class names, which is interesting. So let's go back and refine it and be a little bit more specific about the layout, including how wide we want the thing to be. And we'll let Claude deal with that. Speed it up again so you don't have to watch it think. And all right, here comes our changes. While that happens, I'm going to grab my own profile image from Twitter here. Um, <laughs> great image, I know. Let's go back and pop that in here to our file, refresh, and what do we got? Hey, all right, it's coming together. Let's see what it looks like full screen. All right, so we got some issues. We need to remove some stuff, fix some layout. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Some of this stuff I can do manually, like I can just take out the these pages that I don't want. There'll be separate pages, just remove that. And then let's just ask Copilot here to fix the UI. All right, and I sped that up again, as I will always tell you when I do. Let's refresh. We are so close, look at that. All right, let's just fix the blogs so that they're all in one column. It doesn't need to be a grid. All right, speed it up again. All right, wow, look at that. That looks really good. All right, so our mock-up is done. We're now ready to apply this to the live site. Let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and start a new edit session. And let's define a working set. And for Copilot edits, these are just the files we want Copilot edits to work with. And we're going to be specific so that it doesn't try to work with files we don't want it to. So we're going to grab this custom CSS file. All the styles are currently here. And then the home and default, which is the home layout landing page. And then we need the head, the header, and the pagination component. All of these we need for the landing page. We'll just drag them in. And then I believe, yes, we also need the mockup.html file. So let's go ahead and drag that in. And then see this working set, six files? There's currently a max of 10 files, but we're well beneath that limit. So if it needs to create new files, it can. 
And then we'll just tell it to apply the mockup to this project and put all the styles in one place because I don't want it to try to be modular with the styles. So I sped up again. We want to look at this because we're on a live site now before we actually apply it. So these are the styles and there weren't a lot of styles before. And this is looking pretty good. This is actually looks pretty similar here. We've reduced the markup and then added this JavaScript for the hover. Okay. And then here, oh, this looks very similar. Mostly we just removed the, the Balma include. All right. And then last, what other change do we make here? Okay. This also looks similar. It's just a little bit of markup, but it can handle the Jekyll uh, template syntax, which is really nice. So let's see. And there, all right, really, really close, but not quite right. Not quite right. My guess is if I click here, this, the posted, yeah, this doesn't look good. We can fix this. We're focused on the landing page though. Uh, I think this text is probably here, but it's the same color as the background. Yeah. So let's go fix some of these final styling issues here on the landing page by just having it update the color of the anchors so that we can read them. And then refresh and boom, look at that. Incredible. That is incredible. All of the stuff that I just showed you is free. Copilot is free. Visual Studio Code is free. GitHub Code Spaces is free. All you need is a browser. Go check this out. See what you can design with GitHub Copilot and Claude. I think you'll be blown away. I mean, this is probably my favorite part of GitHub Copilot currently. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. See ya.